Do you remember reading in the news and they said, all oh, the supply chain is not being affected. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of little blimps in it, but just give us a couple more weeks and we'll be right, you know, it, it, it'll be right back. The food's going to be right back on the shelves like it used to be. Don't worry. And that was in the year 2020. I was reading some articles from the year 2020 and they were saying the supply chain was not greatly affected and it's not a basically it's not a big deal and they already you know they had measures in place and everything was going to be okay here we are damn near approaching two years later and what do you see there's a movie that just came out i think it's on netflix and i can't remember what it's called uh i can't remember what the name of it was I don't know why it's skipped my mind, but it's about a comet that's coming to Earth, and basically the media pacified the people. Is that what's happening right now? Is are are the people really being pacified by the media? You know the the, the talking mouths, talking heads, because that's the way it seems. And I just want to continue to urge, especially you brothers. Those, you brothers, y'all have families. Y'all have children. You have a wife or wives. Yah has, has given us wisdom. Yah has given us discernment. Yah tells us twice in his book, the prudent man foresees the evil. In the book of Proverbs, the prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself. The foolish one passes on and is punished. Don't let these talking heads and your family and your friends pacify you and to stop you from doing the things that you need to do to preserve your family. Because if you don't preserve your family, you are guilty and you are wicked. That's one of the responsibilities of having a family, children, wives, other people that may depend on us. We can't let the pacification of our minds and our hearts, we can't allow them to tell us shit that it seems that they know is untrue. Because that was a year and a half. We're approaching two years where they said everything was going to be okay. And the only thing that we look at is and we can see is that it looks like it's getting worse. That's the only thing that's consistent. Trucking problems and fertilizer problems and now they're talking about uh, 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 pesticide problems so even if they do and are able to grow some crops bugs may take them out it's, it's the complete pacification of people it almost reminds me of like the, the movies you watch on television you know especially in like the late 90s 2000s you know it was like where a comet's about to come to Earth. And before they let the people know that the comet was coming to Earth, they made sure they got all their stuff together. And they didn't let the people know the comet was going to hit Earth until, or the whole goal was to not let the people know the comet was going to hit the Earth until it was about to hit the Earth, until it was too, too you know, you, you couldn't hide it any longer. That's what this feels like. It feels really like something bigger is coming, they know, and they're just not telling you. And they're doing the best that they can to continue to pacify the people. Hey, look at over here. Look at this over here. No, 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 no. Look at this over here. No, 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 no. Look at this over here. I know the shelves are, 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 are bare and empty, but don't worry about it because uh, the, the you know, stores have, have uh, stockpiles of food in the back. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's a damn lie. I know it for a fact. I work. In that area. I work in that realm. That field. No, it's not. People used to tell you, there's three days worth of food on the shelves. And if a bad situation happened, you have 72 hours worth of food in the shelves and the stores. And, and that's all it, before it gets taken out. Are you sure it's 72 hours? Look at your store shelves today. Ask yourself, how long will that food last? How long would the food last if the people in your community, the people in your town, the people in your city all decided we got to stock up on food? How long do you think they, do you think they got 72 hours worth of food in them, uh, on those shelves or in the, 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 the back stock, you, uh, the overstock? You think they got 72 hours? 
You cannot let yourself get pacified. You cannot let yourself, because your family is depending on you. Your family is depending on Yah guiding and leading you. You are the head. You've got to make the tough decisions. You've got to stand up and say, hey, we're not doing that, but we are doing this. You want to know why? Because you're charged to. It's the responsibility. Why well, didn't I, I wasn't asking for all this? So, too much is given, much is required. You can't let yourself get passed by. You can't let your 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 pastors, your preachers, your teachers, your, your the media, nobody who just who it feels like it's their job to just tell you the information. You better get knowledgeable. You better get some wisdom, and you better start opening up your eyes instead of waiting for somebody else. Well, when my pastor moves, that's when I'll move. When the media says, when the president says, when the mayor says, when my daddy says, when my mama says, when my best friend says, when my brothers say, when my elders say, how about what Yah says? How about you open up your eyes and use the wisdom Yah gave you? Because you're going to be judged. For your action or your lack of action. Y'all's gonna he the, the watchmen have been blowing the shofar. See, the problem is the two people in this faith, too many people in Israel say, well, I ain't gonna listen. I ain't gonna listen. I, I hear the shofar blowing, but that person crazy. Cause my store still has food in the shelves. Cause things don't look as bad where I am. I'm sure people said that during the time of Noah. Rain? <laughs> It ain't going to rain. It ain't no clouds. No, so what are you talking about rain for? What the hell's rain? And them store clouds came. Wind started blowing. And the, the, our door was closed. It was too late. Do not allow your unbelief to destroy your family. Do not allow your unbelief to damn your family. Do not let your unbelief to put you and your children and your wife or wives in a position to starve, to be evicted. And this is not just talking about food, though. This is a bigger topic here. I, you know, the amount of GoFundMe's that are popping up and people that are begging for money, e-begging, the people that are, oh, help, you know, instead, and these men ain't getting jobs. They ain't going out there to get work. They want somebody else to fund their lifestyle. It is ridiculous what is happening. It is ridiculous. No, it is ridiculous what we are seeing. It is ridiculous that despite all the warnings, that people are still believing the media. They're still believing what they are saying. They're still believing that, oh, we're, we're just a week away or two weeks away or a month away from the shelves just being restocked and everything's going to go back to normal again. I can go back to drinking my lattes and, and, and watching Young and the Restless and General Hospital. And, 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 and so they keep distracting you. They keep you looking all around. To keep you focused on things you shouldn't be focused on. Hey, 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 look over here. You know, President Biden, hey, look at Ukraine. Oh, oh, Russia might go. They might go. Oh, they're backing out. Oh, they, they, they might go. They might go. Oh, they're backing out. Oh, look, 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 look how the tanks, the tanks. The oh, they didn't go in. Meanwhile, China's locking down. They're locking down their ports, which means... All those goods that they export. So what's going to happen over here? This is not the time to be bullshitting, man. This is the time to take a really hard look at what the Bible says. Repenting for your sins. Walking in the newness of life. Being transformed and renewing your mind. Keeping Yah's law. And then using the ample amounts of wisdom that he has given us in his book so that we don't have to partake in the sins that are washing their way down we do not have to be part of any of these plagues now we may feel the ramifications of the plagues but we don't have to be blown away by them but yet the apathetic 
the lazy, the docile, are putting their families in terrible situations because they refuse to move. I truly, truly, truly hope that you are not being distracted by all this shit that they are pumping. I'm not saying don't pay attention. I'm saying assess it and ask yourself, how will this affect me? If Ukraine war pops off, ask yourself, how will it affect you? Identify how it'll, how it'll affect you. Now, if it spins off into a larger war, now we have more to talk about. But until then, they can keep amassing troops here, there, all over the place. And the media can keep covering it. But until that pops off, and if it pops off, even if it did pop off, do you still have, do you have food in your shelves? Do you have food in your pantry? Do you have poundage? How much food do you have and how long will it last your family? Have you done a mathematical equation? Have you figured it out? Are you growing food? Have you come out of her? Or is our lives so dependent on, okay, when the first shot is fired, when the first tank, uh, Russian tank crosses into to, to Ukraine, now I'm going to come out of her. Now I'm going to bug out. People are talking about bugging out, and I'm looking at it like, you haven't bugged out yet? With all the stuff that's going on in this world, you ain't bugged out yet. You're still sitting there, waiting for the last minute, waiting for that drop to hit you on your forehead. Like the story or no. Do not be pacified by what you see, brothers. Do not be pacified. If anything, this is the time to go hard. Go hard, build your ark. Because this and the decisions that we make today may be the exact things that actually save our families from being just like everybody else who is not getting themselves ready for what is coming. Bless y'all. Shalom.